Dave Schmaltz coming to you from the Exmoor Country Club Driving Range. This is our second instructional video around the golf operations. Our, la our first was uh, regarding properly repairing ball marks on the, on the putting surfaces. We've seen a significant improvement, so thank you so much for that. Continue what you're doing, leaving that golf course in better shape than you found it. Today's video is on our preferred divot pattern on the practice facilities. I've hit a couple groups of golf balls here, and I'd like to show you first our preferred pattern, and then second, the pattern that we do see a lot, but that is not our preferred pattern. Okay, so example number one, our preferred pattern. I've hit 10 golf balls here, um, and just an example of the length of that divot is about the, the length of a putter grip, or a, a golf, cup, golf club grip. Um, what we wanna see is about uh, 24 inches long the line, and then if you do continue to hit golf balls, we'd like to see about a club head width between the next line, okay? So here's our second line, our first line. Again, this is just 10 golf balls. That's my divot pattern there. Just one straight line. You can use the alignment rods on the practice facility that we have here um, to help you with those straight lines. So this is our preferred pattern. Again, two uh, lines about 24 inches long. If you hit a second line, continue over about a club hit club head width. Okay, let's go to our second pattern. This is the pattern that we see a lot of, but we don't want this one. This one prohibits growth um, of, the, of the turf coming back to make sure that the, the turf is good the next time that the driving, line, driving range line comes up to, to a position. So again, this is 10 golf balls. The pattern is all over the place, just sporadic. And you see the size of this area. This is my, my eight iron here, and you're talking at least 30 inches, 30 inches by, by 20 inches. That's, that's going to take much, much longer to repair, uh, to grow back, to make sure that we have great turf on the driving range. Let's go over to a couple examples over here. Um, this was from last week. This area right here was from last week. It's straight lines. You can see that the turf is starting to grow in already. Um, Again, straight lines, they're a little too long, but at least they're in a line. It's a start. So this is good. This is good. This is one week ago. You're starting to see a lot of growth come back. Okay, here's another example. Again, this is the, what we don't want to see. This is a scattered pattern. This was from yesterday. They, these white sticks here are 55 inches long, or about 45 inches long, so let's call this area 55 inches by 55 inches. This is one area where somebody hit golf balls yesterday in a scattered pattern. This will not grow back for at least three weeks. So the turf in this area will not be usable or you're gonna be practicing off of a, a not very good condition. So in summary, what we wanna see is a, a straight line preferred pattern um, here on the driving range and on the short game practice facility. Just one straight line, place the ball on the back of the most previous divot and just continue about 24 inches. Um, if you do have any questions, please give us a call on the golf shop. Uh, we'll be happy to assist you. I'd like to give a shout out to my production manager, Brian Janty, for his great film work. Thank you very much and have a great day.